Hi, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sussex Sandra and welcome to my channel. So this afternoon I'm actually going to be doing something that I said I was going to do several months ago and I just haven't got around to doing it like many things I, I said. Yeah, anyway, so today I'm actually going to be using the henna and I'm going to dye my hair. So if you remember about two months ago, three months ago, it was around January, February, I went to a hair event in London, um, healed by um, Treasure Tress, a subscription box I subscribe to. And I had a little chat with the, the founder of Treasure Tress, uh, Jamelia and she sort of noticed that I had colour in my hair and I said yeah because I wanted to just cover up the greys and she said oh why don't you try henna so she sort of gave me a little chat about what she does with henna and how good it is um so I said right okay I will give that a go so I when I filmed my sort of video of that event one of my subscribers Laura Patel hi Laura how you doing hope you're keeping well um she suggested oh um yeah, henna is the way to go. Uh, and she said, and she said oh, the importance of using the right kind of henna. I think she said to best use Persian henna with indigo and sort of other things she said as well. All useful information. And then she sort of said, well, actually, what you could do is just go to Lush because Lush um, they produce a really good henna um, and just buy sort of one of their their dyes. So I went into my local Lush in Brighton, spoke to a chap there, he took a few minutes out and he very kindly sort of spoke to me and gave me some information about the product. He said yes, the henna is really good at covering up the greys um, and it will work really well on Afro hair. But he said what to do, even though the instructions say to leave the henna in for about two to four hours, because of our hair type, my hair type, so it's tight, dry, curly, coily, kinky, he said you're going to probably have to leave it in for a lot longer, even better to leave it in overnight. I ain't going to do that. I'm not leaving nothing in overnight to make a mess. So what I'm going to be doing, I am going to just use a dryer. So what you get when you buy the henna, it comes, I mean, he suggested just buying a whole block. So I bought the block, the block looks like this. And this is the Kaka Noir. Um, I'll put the correct price of it up above. I think it was about £10 maybe. I, I can't remember, £9, £10, it was that kind of price. So I bought all of that and um, I was supposed to get an instruction leaflet and they ran out so they said I can get the instructions online so they gave me the link to get it online and when you buy it they also give you gloves as well so they gave me two lots of gloves which is really good so I could use that to, to dry my hair. I didn't notice I had gloves so I went ahead onto Amazon and bought a whole box of disposable gloves. So yeah, just stupid me. I should have checked the packaging first. But anyway, so got the gloves. I also went on Amazon, bought a bowl. This cost about a pound on Amazon. And what else did I get? Oh, I bought myself a, a cape as well. So all these things I bought from Amazon. Um, the dryer I'm going to be using, because they say to use clean dry hair, so I'm going to wash my hair now after I've done this. So I'm just going to use, because I washed my hair at the weekend and deep conditioned it, I'm just going to use a cheaper shampoo. So I'm going to use the Pantene uh, Moisture Boost shampoo and just wash my hair out, get all the grease out. Um, they do say you're supposed to use a balm to protect your face and hairline from staining. And I just assumed I had Vaseline in my house. I mean, God, every black person's got Vaseline in their house. I haven't got any Vaseline. I've looked high and low for some Vaseline. I haven't got any. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use. So um, I'm just sort of thinking it's petroleum sort of product. So I'm going to use my um, my lip balm, which I got from Beauty Kitchen, um, which I used to moisten my lips. This is when I really wish that I hadn't given away the Dr. Paul Paul yellow thing I've got, because I could have used that and put it around my hairline. Hopefully that will do the job to protect my hair. Um, I've got loads of old towels in my bathroom on the floor, because they do say the process can be very messy. I'm going to wash my hair now. I'm going to make this up. So I'm going to use the bowl, boiling water, break it up, and then I'm going to put it into a blender to get the right consistency um, and then I'm not sure if I'll apply it downstairs in my utility area of the kitchen that would make sense wouldn't it yeah I could do it down there or I could come back upstairs into my bathroom because I have kind of protected it now and do it in there and it's better lighting up there as well so I'll probably film it up here and put it in and um, then I'm going to sit under my hairdryer so using this hairdryer my old blow dryer which I've had for about 10-15 years um, use that I haven't got a hood hairdryer so I'm just going to use one of these things which 
no idea where I got this. I must have bought this from Amazon. Um, just attach it to my blow dryer and I'll put it on low heat and I'll sit under it for about two hours and hopefully that will be enough. Um, go on, cook dinner, because even though I'm on leave I still got to do those things and um, just leave it in for as long as I can whilst it's still daylight and then I'll wash it out and then hopefully cross fingers it's all going to work out okay so wish me luck um, let me show you what I'm working with bloody phone let me show you what I'm working with so this is all the grey so most of the grey is in the front of my hair and it's working its way back excuse the edges so you can see all the grey and the old colour in my hair hope you can see that okay so yeah, I've got quite a bit of grey going on, so I just want to cover it all up. It's literally because every time I do my styles or crochet braids, the, the grey always spoils the effect of the hairstyles that I, I do. So I just want to cover it up really. I mean, I'm, and I just wanted to do it in the most natural way possible if I can. So there you go. So that's what I'm trying to work with. This is what I'm trying to cover up if I can. And let's hope that it works. One of the things I remember the guy saying to me, he said that you might not get the colour that you want straight away, but give it a sort of couple of days and the colour will continue to develop. So let's see how it works out for me because someone's trying to get hold of me. All right, so let's go ahead and start this process, shall we? And wish me luck. of the bowl. Okay, so I've been gently just melting this for a few minutes now and I think it's at the right consistency. So I think it's at the right consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this upstairs now. So I'm sure that's enough to put in my hair, isn't it?
right hi okay so i have been sitting under the hooded hair dryer now for about four hours i would say near enough four hours not continuously obviously because i've had to get up and do things and i had to cook a dinner and answer the door and play with kayla the usual but i'd say on and off for the last four hours i've just been sitting under it um under the dry under low heat so i'm hoping that that has given me enough heat to actually make the colour develop in my hair. So cross fingers, I'm going to go wash it out now and I'll come back to you at the end. Right, okay, so I have washed um, everything out. It wasn't too bad actually. Um, what I used to wash it out, I just used a conditioner just to wash it out. So same product range as the shampoo I used, the one from Pantene um, Gold Series and it was just the Moisture Boost Conditioner. And I probably did it about three times until the water did actually run clear. Now, <clears throat> Now the results are interesting. So I've still got a very reddish tint to my hair. Um, the greys on the whole have actually gone. I, I don't know why. I think I was expecting my hair to look more black. But it's not. But most of the grey has gone. You can still see where the grey was though. Because it is a lighter red in colour. So if you look at these areas here. Yeah, you can see that's where it was grey. But it's a almost consistent colour all the way around my hair actually. But yeah, so you can just see where it was grey, it's just lighter. Obviously, no, I've got no hair on my hairline, but ignore that. But I'm just looking here. Yeah, I mean, overall the grey has gone. I mean, I can't say the grey hasn't gone. Most of it has gone. So let me see what happens over the next couple of days. Um, and I'm actually thinking what I might do is do this process again um, in a couple of weeks. But I'll see what happens over the next couple of days, see if the ch colour changes at all. But overall, yeah, the majority of the grey has gone. It's not as stark as it was, but you can still see, yeah, if you look at it like that, you can still see the lighter area where the grey was. So success? No, not 100%. percent i will say this is like a 40% success, but or 40% failure, I don't know how you want to see it really, 40% success, 60% failure, I don't know, um, again I don't know if I used enough of the products but there wasn't much more I could have used, if anything I don't think I should have used the whole block, I mean the guy in the shop just said just use the whole thing but I can show you, I mean I've got all this left over because I literally couldn't coat my hair any more than that because I haven't got thick hair so I've got all of that left over which I'm going to throw away um, afterwards so I'm going into Brighton again this weekend so what I probably will do is pick up another block and uh, I might try this process again in a couple of weeks but that's what it looks like now my hair is a lighter brown or a dark brown depends on how you want to look at it, with a reddish tint. The grey is not so pronounced, so some success, but not completely. But tell me what you think. My hair doesn't feel over dry and crispy, it feels well conditioned. Um, but again, that could be just because I just washed my hair out with conditioner. So yeah, my hair doesn't feel damaged and that's the main thing. And I use all natural product. I'm definitely going to try this process again, probably in a week's time. But I will assess the situation in a couple of days to see if my hair has changed colour at all. But do let me know what you think. Okay, right. Sorry about this angle. It's only because my tripod isn't that tall. So you're looking at me and looking at all my chins. <laughs> but yeah, tell me what you think. Um, and what you think I should do next, if anything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a like down below. And if you haven't done so already... What are you waiting for? I'm giving you all of this. All you need to do is press the subscriber. It says subscribe in red. And when it turns grey, press the little bell next to it. And then that will ensure that you won't miss any more of my notifications. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. And can I say thank you to all of those new people who have subscribed in the last week or so. There's suddenly been a little bit of a flurry of um, subscribers. So thank you for joining and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy the content that I put up. All right, take care. Speak to you soon. Bye.